Um, so yeah, there may be there may be people, more people at, like just like landlords or superintendents wondering what's going on because I think it's less of a public. So we're gonna do like kind of a little hop between like th the next sort of three alleys over because it's like you'll see once we get back we kind of have this nice like view. Um, but I think it's like less of a, less public. Like we probably will be in park more parking lot type things. Um, but just like I've already talked to them all, they kind of know what's going on. And if there's any issues, like call me or or just give them the artist spiel. Like that. That's all. Like I was like super sketchy yesterday, taking pictures, and people thought I was like suspicious. And uh, they're like, "What are you doing?" I'm like, uh, "I'm an artist. Here's here's a card." This is what I'm doing, studying alleys. And they were just like, oh, cool, okay, all right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's really nice that it's showing us like the back. Yeah, from here, like the roofs. Yeah. And like, I think even the next one's maybe even a little bit better. With today's sketch, I'm trying something new because I think it's been about six weeks that we've been drawing in alleyways and in my older sketches I noticed I was fixated with all the little details of the buildings and sheds that I found, but not really the spaces of the alleys in between. So that's why I'm going to try to go across and also try to depict the negative spaces that we're in, just to show how much space that they're actually taking up within the city. The highlights have been kind of meeting the characters in the alleys, whether they're furry alley cats and friends or curious, cute Chinese gardeners that come and peek over our shoulders. It's really fun. And it's always nice to talk to the curious onlookers to see what's going on and to maybe open their eyes to all the colors and life that's going on back here as well. I just think that they're such uh, incredibly beautiful uh, spaces. So for me, there's always, I mean, there's never enough time in two hours to actually sketch everything that I love about being in a particular area, even though it might only be a block long, <laughs> you know? So sometimes it's just the shape, so the way this shape is running, but also in this one in particular, it's the red with that incredible oak tree in the background and the color of that oak tree with the the sun setting the way it's being uh, lit and so it just sort of caught my eye right away and I thought well if I do that first I can catch it in that light <laughs> and I didn't know they existed I mean that's part of the beauty of this project too is just not even knowing that these are here until you sit down and you know take a walk through If I see like an old barn door or old wood or something like that or some old rusty metal bits, um, crumbling rocks and crumbling old brickwork, I find that's really fascinating. It just shows the age of stuff. That's usually what draws me in, I think. The, each one's got its own character, I think, and each one's got its own reason for being there. The ones that I've enjoyed the most are for sure these like, you know, you could tell they're probably from like the 1920s, uh, little through fairs and alleyway paths that were just cut in behind houses so I find those have been the more interesting ones you'll see those in Hintonburg and I guess uh, we're here now in South Bank and stuff like that and uh, so it's kind of neat to see the different kinds of alleyways um, in the Ottawa area anyway and you know I'm 
running, I'm a lot more comfortable now with actually just sitting down and going for it, whereas the first session was very much about like trying to get the exact dimensions, trying to get the measurements right, making sure all the proportions were there. And now it's just like, okay, this building has three windows, let's put them in there. It was really interesting because it was quite a long alley and it had all these commercial buildings, which I find residential buildings are nice, but commercial buildings, there's a lot more interest there. I was seeing people leaning off fire escapes to talk to people in the alley. I was seeing guys coming out for a smoke break after working in one of the restaurants, people walking back and forth all the time. There's just a lot more life there. And I got to draw a bunch of different types of buildings. It was like, we didn't know what it was gonna be like. Uh, most of us hadn't weed pasted before, but it was like messy and grimy and as everything as we'd expect, I think. There's like literally crud blowing onto the, onto the stuff as we were doing it. We're like, yep, this is about right. This is like how an alley show should be with crud all over it. If we kind of reimagined how we would use these spaces, who knows what could come of them. There could be cafes or, uh, you know, little, little shops or just things happening in these spaces rather than grunge and dirt and, and all this sort of stuff.